Sunday morning, children at this center are taking part in different sports. But these children have a slight problem. They are disabled. This is Robin. He is only eight years old. And as he does the sit-ups, it is almost impossible to tell he has a mental problem. But his father, Vilko Konin, confirms his condition. He has a, a mental uh, disability which uh, makes uh, it uh, fairly difficult for him to concentrate and to stay with the course. Robin represents about 3 million Dutch persons with some level of disability. These people need an extra special attention and care. This is what Only Friend does through sports. I am at the Only Friend Center. This center provides different sporting activities to disabled kids from football, kickboxing, athletics, and other different exercises. These exercises are very helpful to these wonderful kids. Only Friends was opened 11 years ago by Dennis Herbing. The center is a sporting home to children and young people with disabilities and chronic illness. But just what was Herbing's inspiration? The big inspiration was my son, Myron. He was uh, born with a uh, disability, he has uh, brain damage. And I was always a good uh, football player. And for Myron, when he uh, grew up, there was no football for uh, guys like him. So uh, that's why I started Only Friends. There are 400 children and young people aged between 5 to 25 years old at Only Friends. They take part in normal sporting and exercising activity that suits them from football, volleyball, swimming, hockey, kickboxing, dance, among others. Different sports are represented by different colors. For instance, today is Sunday, which is a green day, a day for fitness, indoor soccer and kickboxing, judo, amongst others. Red stands for outdoor football and blue for swimming. Dennis says the colors are easier and simpler for the children to remember. These sports and exercising activities have a huge positive impact on these children, as Robin's father, Vilko Konin, observes. It's always difficult to tell because they get older and they learn a lot, but I think, uh, yes, I think he, he, uh, he learns more control and uh, more uh, working with, with other people and other persons. He's uh, more easy going than he was. Trainer Gabriel has also seen the changes in these children. It's very helpful, I think, because uh, yeah, it's good for their confidence, uh, for their weight, for friends, um, yeah, for, for their movements, for the handicap. So I think it's very, very important. However, it's not an easy task to train them. It requires passion and understanding for the trainers. Gabriel and Ampara are exercising trainers for the last one year. You have to uh, set some things uh, a thousand times and uh, they won't listen sometimes. Uh, some exercise, they can do it because of their, their, their handicap. So that's a difficulty. Despite the difficulties, these children also take part in competitive sports. We have a uh, re recreation sport, but also we have top sports. And with uh, six football teams, we, uh, we play in a competition uh, under auspicious from the KNVB. We have a hockey team uh, who do plays competitions. For Ahmed, Robin and the rest of the children here, Only Friends has provided for them a ground to box and kick the battle of disability through sports. This way, they may lead a somehow normal life, just like anyone else. Reporting for Sports and Society, I am Michelle Katami.